Today I'm returning to the land of ice spikes only to try and survive in a brand new 100 days. Home to the deadly stray, Ice Spikes is one of Minecraft's hardest biomes to survive in, with no villages, no friendly mobs, and very little, if any, vegetation. Our goal today is simply to build a fortress capable of supporting us and withstanding the horrors of this world. But our very first objective is much more simple, and that is simply to survive. And we are into the world of Ice Spikes. So we're currently in a very bad situation. Ice Spikes is extremely barren, and we need to get moving so we can either find a ruined portal or a very, very rare tree. <gasps> but we can't get food. Oh, did I just get lucky? Because they, they move. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, it's not impossible, but we can't even cook the rabbit. I think we should just get moving. And I'm thinking this giant lake might be the play. So even with the ability to find rabbit, we've got a very finite amount of hunger. Because it's hardcore, if our hunger hits zero, we die. So we need to find something. The reason I like this lake is jumping is very hunger consuming. And on here, we don't have to do any of that. So we'll grab some dirt. We're just gonna climb to the top of one of these here hills. Oh, there's our second point of hunger. We need to find a spot to take shelter. You know what, tonight, we are just gonna hide in an ice spike. We're just gonna boop and boop. And we're just gonna hide the night in here. Hello, son. We've got some drops. Never thought I would be so excited for two bones and an arrow. Ugh, ugh. Yes. So we could eat this, right? Lost a little bit of health in our mad dash to find shelter. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh my God. Oh, who's just hiding there in the shade. Let's just continue on. Oh man. Now we just gotta be careful. Oh, this could be monumental. Uh, oh, curse of finding. No. <laughs> so once I put that on, I can't take it off until I die, but it's hardcore. I'll just leave that in there. Yeah, that's, that's not very useful. I guess we could take the chest too. And we'll have to come back for this block of gold. Now, this is actually a really good vantage point. So I'm going to crank up these chunks and we're just going to see what we can see. <gasps> I see so many trees. All right. So I'm thinking that this must be a lot cave over here because yeah that is not spruce that is azalea let's get this chopped up real quick oh we're pushing it we're pushing it we're pushing it i think i think that okay uh yeah that's it that's it let's just let's just tunnel into another ice spike perfect crafting table sticks and the pick i need one more log oh there it is. There it is. We're in. We're safe. Okay, so this takes us to the stone level. The very first thing we're crafting is a furnace. We can burn that into charcoal. It'll give us four torches. Oh, I see a sapling. And we've got a bit of light down here. And maybe we can go grab this stuff. Oh, I'm actually very hungry. We can break some stone tonight just to get our tools at least. So that'll give us a pick, shovel, axe, and sword. And now we wait. Oh, I hear some damage. I think what I want to do is just grab my stuff and get the heck out of here. Oh, now that we have this axe, yes, and yes, oh, yes, oh, this is big. I need you. For now, though, we can get what we have cooking up. This really couldn't come at a better time. There it is. Full health, full hearts, two rabbit left over to spare. Right, so now that we're in a little bit of a better position, I think it's time we find a spot to set up base. Ooh, I'm kind of liking this hill over here. And then lots of rabbits. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, that's a big deal. Don't get me wrong, I do love Azalea, but there's something so perfect about finding spruce in this biome. This is actually insanely rare. You need a very specific structure generation for this to happen. Now, the real question, will we actually get a sapling from this? Yes. It's looking like it might just be one for now. All right, well, sun is going down anyway, so I think we'll just set up camp here for tonight. That'll be six more cooked rabbit. And I think that is it for the night. Oh, a witch. That could drop sugar. That could be so big. Thing is, like, a witch won't kill us, but it will bring our health down to basically zero. The other thing is, like, it's not even guaranteed to give us sugar. Maybe we just maybe we just leave that. Oh, it's gone. Okay, and I am perfectly okay with that. No, check this out. We can get Curse of Vanishing and Fortune Wood. You know what? That that is a step up. Got some some weak chests here. You know, I gotta say, considering we have absolutely nothing, it blows my mind how awful ruined portals are. They are hardly ever useful. Now, I'm looking for a spot to call home. 
I'm kind of wondering if we want to go on a hill. I'm just thinking it's probably a little safer. And this is a cool spot because it's surrounded in river. We've got another portal nearby. Oh my god, shut up. Okay, you actually don't have anything I need, which kind of makes me feel better. I'm just starting to think this spot is kind of blessed. Listen, it's not perfect yet, but I think we'll just take it and turn it into something amazing. So I'm going to start off by doing just a little bit of clearing. That's just going to give us a whole lot more space. What I want to do is just fill in a space with snow. There we go. I think we really need to get more torches going first. I'm going to make a staircase into this ice spike. And now I see this copper right here. I'm not even gonna mine it. That is how disappointing I find copper as an item in Minecraft. Oh, there's a little bit of coal. All right, this mining session has now become worth it. And we're back up. So I think the big thing we should try to do is get ourselves some more spruce. Fortunately, we have 24 bone meal. Yeah, there we go. Now I say I want more spruce. It's really that I want more spruce saplings. You get four, it gives you big spruce, podzel. It's a good time. That's two. Uh, it's looking like that might be it. And we'll go again. Now we roll the dice once more. Ooh, this is not going well. I'll have to roll the dice one more time. Quickly before the sun goes down, I'm gonna just make some slight improvements on this. That makes two. And that's probably gonna be two. Oh, I knew this was coming. Oh, I don't have a shield. I don't have a shield. Yeah, that's tough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll take a few hits if I have to. There we go. Should be a little more safe now. I think we'll just head on back down to the safe mines tonight. And there is our first piece of iron. It's looking like a total of two pieces. We got more coal though. Gold is not that important actually. A little more iron for the team. It's gonna be 10 pieces. Why don't we make another furnace? That'll give us the iron pick. That'll be our shield. With six more pieces, I will make a helmet. Excellent. We've got a new day. I'm gonna do both the saplings and we really just gotta hope for the best today. Oh, there's one right there. Two. Okay. Okay, this is a good start. Come on. That's three. I don't think we're gonna make it. All right, last three bone meal. Actually, we should probably just let all three grow. We can torch them. And now we wait. For right now, I need more snow. It'll give us more blocks. Whoa, this is a big one. All right, this one is very promising. Now, as that goes, I am just Filling this in. Days are going too fast. We'll fill this in to complete our igloo. I'm going to add a door. Oh, oh, two, three, four. And right before we call it a night, we'll do this. We'll do that. And we'll hope for a big tree by morning. Actually, it's not feeling too dangerous out here yet. So I might even just add some torches around the space. It is a little bit safer now. And we've actually got quite a bit of spruce slab. There we go. Now it's like true igloo vibe. But what I love about it is you have the staircase going into the ice spike. Very cool. Okay, so it's day seven. I'm hearing a zombie out here. Oh, oh, hi there. Uh, oh, not by the tree. Listen, you can you can do whatever you want. Just not by the tree. Boop. Gosh dang it, that's my yard. It's not the important part of my yard. I'll allow it once. Now I would like to do a bit of a little search today. We're looking for this and that. And I'll never say no to some rabbit. Now with this bone, yeah. Look at all that wood. Got one sapling to start. That's gonna be one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. We could just put that right back down. We got the podzel cooking up. It's gonna come faster next time. Oh, and it's snowing. Oh my gosh, I love it. Plant this right here and boom. Oh, there's our friends. And in we go. And tonight we will dine in the mines. The next day. In total, that's gonna be 13 pieces of raw iron. The very first thing I'm gonna do with this extra iron is actually build a bucket. We'll also make pants. Cause I knew I saw some water over here. Just gonna grab that. Maybe we do a little, little something like that. And now we are going to make a hole going straight down. A little bit of lapis. And we can fill this with water. And so now while we still do have to walk up, now 
we can fall down. The other thing I haven't quite showed you guys yet is as I was mining down here, I actually found a cave. I haven't explored it yet. Wanted to explore it together, but I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty good seeing as we already found some iron. There goes our pick. Now we've got enough for another iron pick and I think I'll do the upgrade on everything else as well. Can even get the sword. And our last piece is going to be the iron chest plate. That's gonna be our last piece of gear. We're all suited up, so nine days. But now we should not die in like 85% of situations, which is up from it feeling like a 50-50. <laughs> anyway, we've got another tree. And look at that, four right there. Oh, it's a stubby little one. Actually, no, that's pretty big. It just looks good to have. Like, I, I don't even need to chop that down. I'm just, I'm just happy looking at life existing in this Antarctica world. You know, I gotta say, I love our house. Now, the next thing I'd actually like to do is start fencing up the area. Yeah, nice. Happy day 10, ladies and gentlemen. I was thinking the next thing we could do is actually start laying down some dirt in our space. This actually feels like a pretty good start. Wow, so it's crazy to see how few mobs are actually spawning at night now. Last time I did ice spikes, the world was quite dangerous. I'm just curious if I can safely yeet myself through here and maybe find some spiders. It's like, I don't really want to deal with those guys. Or these guys for that matter. Oh, dang it, we're taking hits. Yeah, this just might not be worth the risk. We're doing okay, but definitely still struggling. We just don't have so much stuff. There is one thing we could do. We need food and we'll grab that piece of gold. And if we put this like that, we only need three pieces of lava to fill it in. I do wonder if we can maybe find some lava in a cave. Oh gosh, dang it. I totally just looked at that Enderman. Uh, there we go. No ender pearl. I'm gonna take that as my sign to just nope. We'll head down, but this time we're gonna go further down than we've ever gone before. This strategy, eventually we're either gonna find lava or we're gonna find diamonds and either will get us to the nether. Ooh, and there's a cave, kind of big cave. I see something. Do you see something? Can you spot the thing? Oh, I'm ready to be disappointed. All right, everybody, first diamond. And, and, oh, oh my gosh. That's six diamonds. Absolutely massive. Now, I don't mean to be too greedy, but I figure if we're already here, we get our first redstone and there's lava. And ladies and gentlemen, the diamond pick. Now, since I'm down here and we've got this much, I think I'm just gonna get 10 pieces. Oh. Hey, my gosh, the other diamonds were like right over there. Okay, this has been super lucky. Ooh, first piece is a string. Let's go. That makes eight. Ooh, we got more diamonds. Look at this. I'm like out of food, but this cave just keeps going. We're definitely getting into some dangerous territory here. Like if a few mobs show up at the wrong time, it's gonna be a little dicey. So I think I'm gonna make my way back to the entrance. Oh, oh, it's ex oh man, that's exactly what I was thinking. Huh, huh. Okay, little heal and then another one. That should get us to four hearts. Now, fortunately, the backtrack has been all lit up. Really don't want to come across a skeleton. There it is. Yes. Now, we still don't have any food. Oh, we do have four rotten flesh. Okay, get as much health back as we can. Okay, morning. We need food. Food. Today though, I'm gonna try to go really far for food. Gosh, I just, I feel so bad about this. But look guys, at the end of the day, it's them or the video ends. Now, you may have also noticed we stumbled back over to this lush caves area. So what I actually wanna do is I wanna head down and see if we can actually find this lush cave. I'm just gonna mine down and eventually we should hit the lush cave. And there we are. Now here's the thing about lush caves. I'm not really sure what's in them because I never explore them. I know we got glow berries. I am curious, something like a moss block. Yes, okay, that's what I was looking for. I wasn't sure, I had a theory, I wanted to test it. I'm gonna grab all of this and there, that's gonna be our first wheat seed. Ooh, oh my gosh. Bro, is this a mine shaft? Whoa, so it's connected to the lush cave. Oh, cool. We have seeds. 
I don't even like beetroot, but that's big. A name tag? And a piece of bread? You know, that is never gonna be unappreciated. Now, we can also start breaking these. That's gonna give us more string. I could probably just hit it. There it is. Oh, but there's some cave spiders. Yeah, see, I just, I just don't really wanna get poisoned. I'm good. Thank you, but but I'm good. We only need 12. We're at 10. And look at that. Okay, I really, I really do want the string. Oh, yeah. Cheddar cheese, baby. Oh, there's another one. Ah! Ah! No! No, 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 no. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. No, you need to die. Oh, I hate you so much. Oh, there goes all my health. Okay, actually, that's not as bad as I thought. Ooh, come on. This is like the best cave ever. We're just getting so much of, of everything. This is gonna be more seeds. 64 string? Wow, this is this is quite large. Okay, I'm really just looking. Oh, the, the, oh, okay, now we're getting into the mobs. Now we're getting into the serious combat. There it is, though. Oh my god. That is what we call a hard no. They're fighting. Don't care. Not my problem. Let's just patch that all up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's two right here. Another name tag. <gasps> Melon seeds. That's about it. Okay, you know what? That's, that's a good haul. All right, I'm, I'm content with this haul. And there is our beautiful sun. I'll give this spot a little mark. And we're home. So in the end, we didn't even really need that obsidian, but we eventually will, so it's, it's good. Right, so this is gonna be a little tricky because, yeah, it's gonna freeze, isn't it? You can just put... Yeah. Oh, it's getting dark. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you one white bed. We're going to sleep. Good night. First sleep in 15 days. I think Steve has earned it. Now, I've also got two melon seeds. So we'll just go boop and boop. I might just start this one. That way we can get more melons fast. I also really want to create a space that feels like it's thriving. So I'm gonna like start filling stuff in. You know, just to kind of create the vibe that this is like a place of abundance, an oasis from the ice spikes. That's the goal, eventually anyway. Cool, that's all we got for now. Ladies and gentlemen, check it out. Three melon slices. Oh, oh my goodness. That's a lot of melon seeds. Maybe we should think about setting this up over here. I think that will serve as a good start. Now, with that tree chopped, I would like to finally fill in the hole that was caused by that creeper. I'm gonna need a little more dirt. There. Now, I should be able to plant another one. Don't have any bones. Oh, but see, now we have string. That's a bow. And see, now we got a little bit of that podzel, which is interesting because it actually... Whoa. Oh, I did not know podzel would overtake moss block like that. Either way, it just looks so much better than the dirt. Now, I haven't grabbed that iron yet, but check that out. I also have been slowly but surely stacking up stone. I am starting to wonder whether it's time we make a new house. Now, before I go wild on this, I'm wondering if we should really take the time to like carefully plan this. I really love the idea of having a castle on a cliff face. So I wanna basically extend this out, but we're gonna need a lot more dirt. How many diamonds? We have 14. I think it's worth it. What if we just got the dirt from like the sides to make it more cliffy? It's not really perfect at all. Oh, I, I really don't wanna say this, but I gotta say it. I want that top of a mountain feel. This is like a, a, a hill. You know, this, this is fine, but look over there. Like, that is kind of a specimen of a mountain. Like, I just can't help but think we haven't made that much progress yet. If we wanted to move, now would be the time. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to gather all the most important stuff into one chest. I will gather a bunch of materials for right now. We don't want this to be a dangerous walk in the morning, so I will sleep. We're just gonna head over to this mountain and see what's up. I mean, look, it, it's definitely got the cliffside feel I'm going for. You know, we're making it up, but it's certainly a climb. Oh, it looks very flat, actually. There is this giant hole right here, but you've got 
a lot of flatness around this area. I think this is doable. Like there's definitely a bit of work to be done to flatten it. Let's get up a little higher. Wow, this is actually way better than I was expecting. It's so perfect because the house can go in this area. And you've got this natural sort of ravine that almost keeps it guarded from all sides except this little path. It's kind of like the perfect spot you'd actually put a castle. And then there's just so much more space for builds. We are gonna commit to this area. I'm gonna put a chest right there. I'm gonna put all our building blocks in here for now. We've got quite a bit of time right now. Today, I'm just gonna try to clear out as many ice spikes as I can. Oh man, those were two easy ones. We got like these big boys over here. Oh, it's a start. Well, we should also cover the area in torches. Even just setting this up, I'm amazed at how like perfectly defensible it is. Anyway, that is as best we can do for right now. Sun is going down, just gonna heat my way on down the side of this cliff, and we made it. Like, even just being back here, I can feel the potential that this has. Now, we need more tools. We'll fill up our inventory. I guess I'll leave most of the stuff here. But we've got spruce saplings, we've got seeds. I think that's pretty much everything we need from this space. So, we will sleep again. Now, I'll bring a bed just in case I can't get the space safe tonight. All right, so we'll dump more stuff into the chest. I think the next thing I'm gonna tackle is this little mound over here. This is gonna be a big project. I've never actually relocated before, but it is gonna be so worth it. Eventually we'll get some better tools, but I think for now we'll just hit the things we absolutely need to take down. Wow, sun is going down already. We'll try to just see if we can work through the night. Well, that's uh, some pretty good progress actually. That's gonna be better yet. So I think that's all the clearing I'm gonna do until we have like diamond efficiency tools, which actually might might not be that far away. So I got a little carried away. I just really wanted a cliff face. I wanted some order, some structure to this place. And I kind of just kept going. And, and this is where we're at. But on the bright side, you didn't have to watch me do a bunch of shoveling and dirt placing. We can now start thinking about what we want the start of our home to look like. So we're obviously gonna go stone bricks. So what I'm actually doing is I'm sort of getting the idea of what I want a wall to look like. Basically, it would start like here and it would work itself through across this section. So from there all the way over to here where the cliff sort of like kind of would stop. So this would be the wall and then everything in here is going to be our space. I want to actually start with a tower of, of sorts. So I think that's our start. Oh, I think I want to try a bit of a different wall. I mean, it's okay. It's a little rudimentary. I think it's cool as a starting point. Like if this just becomes one tower, part of a whole stretch of stuff. I think I could be okay with that. I just need to stress it's not gonna be the only thing here. Look, at the end of the day, you can say what you want about this build. For right now, all I really care is that it's gonna keep us kind of safe. Looks really silly though, that's for sure. Now the forest is coming along. I wasn't even really planning on making a forest, but I like it. There comes the snow. All right, so that should be more than enough chests. I'm wondering if we should make this an actual shelter. For now, I think that can be just as simple as making a floor slash ceiling. Oh wow, that is all my stone. I don't know, maybe just something like that. A little balcony. Nothing crazy, but it is a nice view. Now, I also think I'd like to get started on just like some bread. No, maybe I should do... Oh, I have one melon. Only got two bone meal. That is enough. Oh yeah, okay, so as it turns out, I'm out of food. Means we need to go back to the other base. Should I try it at night? Puts life without a little risk, right? Sometimes I just, I just need some action, you know? Zigzag formation! Sleep? Who needs sleep? I'll sleep when I'm dead, which might be sooner than I hope. There we are, we're good. Interesting how this stuff still hasn't grown. Is it too far out of my simulation distance? Regardless, that's a melon. That is a melon. 13 melon slices. Ah, yes, our first home. I think we're gonna be very happy we moved over there. Not a lot of stuff. Ooh, that obsidian. Melon's going crazy. Think I can live with leaving the rest. I'm just gonna take these seeds. Wow. Look at that. I see the potential. Starter base, this is probably it. Happy chilling. The real question is, is what do we think when we, we, we approach this? I'm not getting like, wow vibes. You know, not yet. So now that we've got everything, I suppose we could try going to the nether. 
curve the side of this out. Right, so it's gonna need a little fixing later. Let's just check it out. Oh, I don't like that. Oh my gosh, here's our nether. It's a little dangerous, but it's not bad. So the big thing I would want from the nether are blaze rods. That would allow us to find a stronghold. And it's not that I necessarily need to beat the ender dragon, but a stronghold is just gonna give us a lot of great materials like books. So I think that should be our next project. We're gonna need a lot more food though. Take rabbit kills. Okay, there's bones. Yeah, it's definitely a bit of risk. Crazy thing is, I feel so confident. Like, I know we're low on health, but I'm like, we're good. We got one bone. Excellent. See, now we can use the bone. Hopefully get more melons. Now, I'm thinking as I wait for these to grow, we really just need to start a serious farm. Even before we can go to the nether, we just, we need to get a steady source of food. All my seeds. Surely it's not that this is set up wrong, right? That it should be facing that way. We'll also get some wheat cooking up. So rather than going to the nether now, we have sacrificed our short-term potential for long-term gains. Also, I am so silly. That that's not gonna work. Why am I why am I like this? Now we're good. I've got six cooked rabbit. Let's just give this a go. Oh, there's a mushroom. Actually, that means uh bowls? Mushroom stew. Look at this. We found love in a hopeless place. We'll give this lot some gold. And and yeah, we've got another fortress like 300 blocks away. Now we'll see what this guy can offer us. Man, there's actually not much he can provide that I would need. Like arrows would be actually thanked. <laughs> that would be perfect. And I'll always say yes to a potion of fire resistance. Oh, that's two. Listen, I'd let you live if you weren't going to be so hostile. But when you got those boots right there, a little soul speed one fresh pair of shoes. Ah, this is what I get for taking a peek. Oh my God. That just was like, <laughs> what the chances of that? Oh my God, I'm gonna, I don't wanna waste this potion. Wow, absolutely rude. Oh, there's the blaze spawner right there. Looks pretty covered. Well, it's not that covered, but I can't really say no. Uh, still take damage. Okay, wow, just one. Oh, two. Wow, we're not, uh, oh my gosh, we're not starting so hot here. Three. Okay, I gotta chill. I'm getting too aggressive here. We've got one minute. This is also my last piece of food. We're just here to get to a stronghold, not actually to get to the end. So that is more than enough for that. Good day to you, sirs. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Take an aim. Ow. That was a silly mistake. And now we have to be really careful heading back. Oh, no, 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 we're not gonna, we're not doing this today. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, sometimes you just gotta choose to run away. All right, we're in. Uh, that was simply too close. That could have gone real, real bad. I mean, honestly, it, it kind of did go bad. I didn't even find brown mushrooms, but we got the blaze rods. Is there anything else we can eat? We've got flesh and a bit of wheat. So we'll get our, yep. Yeah. And then we hit the bread for saturation. There we go. Ice spikes, man. It's a tough world to survive in. Hey there, little buddy. There's a pack of you. Okay, I'm just gonna take the one. We've got a bone. Let's do that guy. And then that maybe. Let's just, just hope for the best. Man, I'll, I'll do beetroot seeds right now if I have to. Hi there. It's a melon. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much. The gift of the melon. Saving our world. Right, so a day of grinding and we've got half a stack of melons. We're definitely feeling a little more comfy. We are heading back to the nether, but this time we're looking for Endermen. Nice. Oh, I am so cheesy. Whew. See, just, just do it like this. It's two. Three. And four. I think that's pretty much it. That'll give us four eyes of ender. Now the cool thing is we're already like 1500 blocks from spawn. So there's a chance we're close to a stronghold already. Okay, so generally that direction. All right, so that's gonna be 15 total wheat for five pieces of bread. We'll have melon for simple hunger, bread for healing. Ha ha, well that didn't work, but that was a successful bully. Oh, look at that little guy right there. Okay, the other side of the mountain. Wow, so we scale down that, but then you keep walking, you realize there's this much more. I feel like taking an ice river is gonna be the path of least resistance. We're kind of closing in maybe. Okay, let's see now. Ah, uh, 
Dang. Wondering if the best way to tackle this is going underwater. I think I'm just gonna try digging down and hope for the best. Oh, come on. Too easy. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I'm very grateful, game. Thank you so much for the convenience. We've got another chest with not a whole lot in it. Well, I suppose it is a bit of a refresh. Fresh sword, too. Oh. Well, I don't know how I feel about this. Does this mean we're close to an ancient city? Does this mean we're above an ancient city? Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Oh, okay. There's a portal room. Man, have I even mentioned why we're here? It's not for this. Man, this is some crazy generation. Ah, okay, we're good, we're good. Man, it makes the struggle so much more creepy. Oh, finally. Man, I swear this is like the last room I looked in. So the reason I wanted to come here is for, for, for books. Oh, wow, okay, that, that, that is big. We have bad mending. Respiration, <laughs> curse of vanishing, and efficiency four or sharpness three. Eye armor trim. Now the big thing, like I said, are these books. Oh, another chest. Unbreaking or protection. And sharpness three. Whoa, different library, oh, single floor. What kind of books are we gonna have here? Uh, another eye armor trim, a lot of paper. Oh, actually, I'll take that compass. All right, now we're out of here. I mean, if I can follow the river, I'll be pretty safe. And our compass should guide us home. That is a base. <laughs> But it's, it's not that base. What's cool is we now know that river takes us straight to the stronghold. Whew, the light. The light guides us, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, home sweet home. We got books, there'll be bookshelves. And so now that we have obsidian, we'll just pop this up here for now. Gives us level 30. All right, I'm gonna make a diamond ax. Look at that, for two we can get efficiency three. Oh, wait, eight. One, two, three, anvil. We can take the unbreaking three, the mending, and the efficiency four. So worth it. And then we also had sharp, oh, oh, oh my gosh. The fire aspect, that's so perfect. My gosh, we're like kind of geared up. This is kind of like that critical moment because now we can kind of just delete ice spikes and now we can get other materials like stone and iron really quick. So I've spent most of the day trying to clear this area and I've also just done a little bit of safety proofing along the ravine. So the next thing I actually want to do is our wall. I've decided to change it a little bit. So this is still going to be the initial point where it, it juts out from, but we're actually going to go straight right across over to this sort of what I've got here. And then from here, it's gonna go across and go all the way over to here. I really hope it's gonna get awesome. So now comes the interesting part. I'm gonna do something like this. There. You see what I'm kind of going for? I actually don't know if I'm loving the smooth stone. We'll, we'll see about that. Yeah, there, there's the start. Now, uh, as I see it all done, I'm not liking this stone brick one bit. But, you know, glad I tried, glad I experimented with it. Maybe we should try to make some lanterns. So instead of the torch, we could do this and that. Then, though, the obvious question, how do we fill it in? Like, that actually looks pretty good, but then on the back, it's just kind of it's kind of weird. So then you could just double down, right? And then you've kind of got, like, a double wall. Right, it would look like this eventually, and that looks pretty cool. And then we're just doing the same thing for the rest of it. There's our other side. One big old wall. Now, we've still got a good amount of clearing to do, and our pick is not looking very good. Also, I should really just make this a safe platform. There, something like that. Anyway, I'm thinking quartz is probably the fastest way to regenerate my pick right now. Bone block. This right here, this is the stuff. Oh, I forgot we have soul speed. Oh man, all of it's mine. All right, and that's a pretty much patched up pick. And we're back. I'm gonna clear some more of these ice spikes. I also just don't wanna be walking over ice. It's just slippery and I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna hurt myself. You know, it's gonna be the first instance of a hardcore run where a player dies by slipping and falling. I, I don't want that, you know, that's gonna be embarrassing. From a distance, there's our wall, cool. Yeah, we're, we're, we're making progress for sure. It's a bad day to be an ice spike. I really don't want to work on this wall in the snow. I don't know what it is, but the visual impairment is just not really for it. So I'm going to go to our secret underground lair that I've been cooking up. And tonight I'm just, I'm going to get dirt. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to, just going to shovel dirt. Oh God, this is going to be slow. One sec. We got six diamonds. There, efficiency one. That's all I want. At least this way, we could just uh, put these together, get efficiency two, and that is noticeably better at dirt. I think that was worth it. And then I'm taking that dirt, and I'm filling in 
all the holes. So you can kind of see what I'm trying to make happen here. Now today I am getting my dirt from kind of just simply making this ravine more, more, more steep. It's kind of a great thing because it's like killing two birds with one stone. All right, excellent. So just to give you an idea, the dirt was originally up to here and that's how much we cleared out. This is what I've got. I do think I'd be happy to just have the wall finish here. Dang, well, it seems as though we are going to need more dirt. Oh, hey, what's up, man? We've got kelp. You're really trying to sell me ice, bro. Um, Man, I mean, I do like the packed ice. There, we'll put them in there. And someday, I, I hope we can buy kelp from you, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the basis for our wall. It might look good, but I assure you, the inside, it's uh, quite hollow right now. Now, as for wall building materials, I don't think we're gonna have enough. I'm gonna let half of that stack cook, but we'll probably need to get more. I'm really starting to see the progress come along. Even just laying this giant line this should give us a good idea of where we're at. There we go. Okay, we actually might have enough. And then lastly, we're just filling this in. This is way more efficient than last time. It's weird, right? Because there, there is a little bit of this going on. Hmm, this is, this is just a little weird. Uh, I want the wall to be the same height. Looks a little silly as is. Okay, there, I think. That's it. That was a serious project. Maybe we just do a little moat, right? A little bit of that. So we can go over it. I'm pretty sure mobs will fall in. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I, 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 I did that wrong. I know what went wrong. Okay, I think it's that. Like that's still an easy jump. And then, well, seeing as the creeper walked in anyway, I think that should be good. Honestly, after seeing this wall put up, there is part of me that is like, oh, it'd be so cool to just do the whole thing. That's not a now objective, but like maybe eventually. But yeah, nice. I, I just feel really happy with this build. It's kind of putting our little tiny wimpy castle to shame, but that is not what I want to do next. I've actually been slowly working on a new mining project. So I'd like to try to find a new cave and potentially get some more diamonds. Oh, spooky. Oh. My gosh, hello, hello. Things are off to a great start. <gasps> Stop, I never get this lucky. Also love breaking this cause it's, it's good for XP. It's certainly just in general, not an amazing source of XP, but at the same time, it's, it's easy and available. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the tool we were looking for. Gosh, this is just like the greatest thing I've seen this whole run. Oh my gosh. Game, you're just so kind today. Oh my gosh. What is this diamond generation? That's 13? Dude, sometimes it'll take me like a full day to find 13 diamonds. <gasps> oh. I mean, if y'all want to fight it out, that's, that's fine with me. Man, gotta love that fire. Right, so we have thorns. I don't hate that. And another name tag, that's appreciated. And that's pretty much it. Not great, not terrible. What's up? Oh, whoa, what the heck? This was just like made for us. Yeah, oh, oh, those are, those are skeletons. Okay, I mean, not the best. It's not the most tactical play. There we go. Wow, oh, there's those diamonds. Gotta work for these ones. I think I saw, yep, <gasps> yellow guy. Oh, oh, more diamonds. Sorry, yellow guy. I've got priorities. It's not you. If you were blue, I'd think about it. And we saw more. Gosh, it, I mean, exploring caves is so fun. That's 20 diamonds. Man, I'm out here exploring like I have full protection diamond gear and I really just have iron. Confidence is just uh, maybe a little too high. Anyway, I, I, I see more diamonds, so I'm gonna have to excuse my obnoxiousness for a second. And there's a diamond. And there's a diamond, and I think that's all the diamonds. It's 22. 23. Oh my gosh, dude. I, diamonds have never felt so free before. Man, it's like they're just handing them out. Oh my gosh, dude. This is crazy. Dude, this is the craziest cave I've ever seen. Right, now, this is massive news, because ladies and gentlemen, we can do. Taking a bit of time, but finally, there it is, the diamond gear. And it's not just diamond gear. Protection two, like yeah. Feather falling, that's great. Protection two. Oh, there's protection two, I just need more. We're just gonna go ahead and do a little more of this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is 
insane. Okay, this is even more cool, because look at that. That's a piece of regular diamond ore. I'm gonna leave that actually. Like we'll break these because these are kind of whatever. But uh, finding this is actually quite rare. So I might come back for Silk Touch and just keep it as like a flex. Either way, diamonds are just free in Minecraft 1.20. Wow, 19 reserve diamonds. We'll do protection two and oh, easy protection two. That is a massive upgrade. Ooh, power one. I have a power on bow already. We'll do that for power two. Okay, wait a second. Got a plan. Efficiency two on the shovel. Efficiency three. Gonna see if we can maybe get some more arrows. All right, I'm seeing some. I'm seeing some arrows down there. Oh, ender pearls. Okay, that's not nothing. It's actually nice to have gotten ender pearls. We are also looking for ender pearls. Nice. And ladies and gentlemen, gosh dang it, I forgot about blaze powder. My dear friends, hello once more. If you thought this was gonna go the way it went last time. Please think again. Oh my God, of course there's like all these now that I don't have fire resistance. Ah, oh, of course. The last one, I got too confident, but that's seven. All right, we're back. I'll make 12 blaze powder, and that will give us the 11 eyes of ender we need. Oh, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're not holding off to the end on this one. We're making potions, and we're gonna do the potions of slow falling. Also looking for strength. And since we don't have great sources of saturation, we're also going with the regen potions. Now, we have been stocking up on bread, so that's not too bad. We've got a ton of melon to stock up on. Cool. Cool, I think that's everything we need for an ender dragon fight. We ready? Let's do this. So just for clarification, that's our base, and this is not the river we wanna take. See, that's that river, and we wanna take this one. And then it was somewhere around here, I think? I do remember seeing lava. That's what we came out from, isn't it? Yeah, here we are. And here we are. Let's do this. That's, oh, that's that's very chill, nice. Okay, now before I do anything, I'm just looking to get a few extra pearls for this fight. Draw some dudes over, yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, see the fire sword is kind of kind of not what you want, is it? Because they just go kind of crazy. You want to use the ax. There we go, oh, two right back to back. That's all I really need. Gonna have to be surgical. Wow, I think that's like the shortest little guy I've ever seen. Nice, there, nice. Oh, oh, I want to get out of here. Oh, that's what I was scared of. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, that's not how we want the water to spread. We want the water to, no, stop it, stop it. <laughs> okay, that that's kind of what we want. We want, we want this. There we go. Stop bullying me. Go, oh my gosh, the pearls. Ah, oh, so many pearls. Boom. Nice. 22 arrows left. I'm actually playing this pretty efficiently. I know there's one more. Oh, there's two more, okay. There we go. Beautiful. You're down. Strength. There we go. Take the slow falling now. We may as well use our arrows now. There's our all our arrows. There we go. Big damage. There we go. And there we go. Give me all that juicy XP. There it is. Woo ho ho, man. 66, not bad. Now we are here already. We've got a lot of pearls and a lot of things. I think we should head to the rest of the end. Oh my God. This could be the most convenient run of Minecraft of all time. Oh my gosh. This is the type of run I live for, man. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. Okay, I gotta remember this is not, this is not nothing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed now. We beat the Ender Dragon, but hey, this is serious. Let's take it serious, you know? We're gonna get some Shulker Shells. That's great, because, you know, we're actually, we love Shulker Shells. We want Shulker Shells. I don't think there's anything up here. No, there's not. Oh, hi there. Taking some shots over here. This actually might be the only chest here. Okay, not much. Now, further up we go. So here's the thing. Really terrible city, but like it, it, it has a ship. So who really cares? Ender Pearl shot to not save our life. Uh, that kind of, oh gosh dang it. I don't really wanna deal with this right now. If you wanna just let me get a 
we go. Okay, you're right, there's chests in here too. Cool, there is our elytra. Maybe just one good tool or something. Protection three helmet, that is an upgrade. Whoa, those are good fire protection leggings. And then unbreaking, actually those can go together nicely. Ooh, I will take those emeralds and a mending efficiency four pick. Oh wait, <laughs> I have a mending efficiency four pick, Never mind. I mean, it's still gonna take it. Mode here, like, ah, I don't have any inventory. Oh, that's not a bad sword either. Elytra is definitely the big win. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the day you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have beaten the game, and I forgot the dragon head. Gosh. Dang it. Hey, now that's great progress because we're gonna be able to finally max out our tools. So let's do a little enchanting, shall we? So I've just got all kinds of gear. Efficiency four, and I found a good enchant for the helmet. So I'm just trying to be a little more efficient with it. And there we go. All right, so just searching for the thing I want. Efficiency four, not great, not bad. I've actually found another efficiency four. No luck. Okay, we found protection four, so we do that. There we go. Got it on the leggings. So touch. We'll put that on a pick. I'm gonna reroll the shovel. There we go. Ooh, we've got another chance on our axe. Just really want the unbreaking. Well, there is another way. These are diamonds like this. Take that. We'll grab power three, I suppose. So then we can bind that. So we've got efficiency unbreaking three on everything. And then there was this pick. Ooh, that's an expensive silk touch. I don't need it that bad. We don't use silk touch that often, so it's fine as is. Now the thing about Minecraft is it's not about having great tools. It's about what you do with the tools you've been given. I've done some clearing. Right now, this base is just, it's not there. Ow. So first I need to gather more cobblestone. Okay, I think that is a good start. We're gonna get some more furnaces. I'm gonna take these buckets. We're here for lava. So now, as you see, getting a little more serious. Wait a second. Oh, I think I know what just happened. Whoa. Okay, dangerous, but oh my gosh. Oh, that's really cool actually. I was just digging. And we came down, and it turns out we were actually kind of close. Whoa, if I had just been a little closer, we would have hit that easily. We barely made that. Oh, that's really neat. Well, since I'm down here, what about something like that? I don't know, it's kind of cool. All right, now we can fill this back up. That is a lot of stone. So now we gotta decide what are we gonna do with our island? It's not an island, I'm just, I'm used to playing one chunk. Okay, what if I just made a little more wall? And then maybe we do a little bit of this? Now, before we go any further on this wall, which I do eventually wanna do, I've been thinking, and I, I, I think I wanna take this down a level. See, yeah, I think that is just gonna feel a little better. There is a big problem with that though. The question is what we wanna do with our building, we wanna extend it out and leave it up a little higher. I'm gonna start by moving our farm. Now I am taking the rest of these trees down. Oh, wow, that, that's a lot of wood. We're big time chilling on the wood right now. So I think I'm gonna take some time and just do a whole lot more clearing. And after a day of that, this is where we've managed to get. Now you may have noticed, I have a whole lot of stone brick in my inventory. You can just kind of see what I've done is I've, I've allowed this to be sort of elevated and I actually want to see what some stone brick around here would look like. So there. Wow, all of a sudden this space is feeling just a whole lot more professional. Wow, I just, I can't believe what a couple stone bricks can do. Now this definitely gets the gears turning a little bit, but then I think, right, we can't go any higher because our storage is this level. That's fine, this is it. But I do start to wonder what else we can do. I think that is good, but I am just left wanting a little bit more of a base. Just give me some time here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start cooking. I just need some time to cook. So this goes like that. And then we do another one. We're going for that pyramid feel. You see what's cooking up here? This is gonna be our base. All right, so we'll just clear all this away, I guess. This is becoming a thing. See, this way, I, I don't feel so bad about like the fact that we're kind of just tearing down our base. Cause like, we're not, right? We're just modifying it. You see what we're kind of getting up to here? We're gonna fill in the walls like this. 
look at that sunset. We'll fill in the walls like this. Okay, this is so weird now because you're in here, it feels familiar, and then you're like, all right, I'm leaving, and then it's, ah! So the next thing I wanted to work on is getting on more food, and I thought I'd start with just a small melon farm down here. Wait a second. This isn't how you do a melon farm. This is how you do a melon farm. And then on this side, it's the same. Otherwise, you get into a bit of a rigmarole with where the melons grow. Cool. Maybe like a small wheat farm somewhere? You could just do it right here, actually. Okay, so we do a door there. So our options are basically wheat, yeah, wheat and beetroot. Now, I would love to get my hands on some carrots to make golden carrots. Actually, would that be so much work? Something like that? For now, and I have decided tonight I will not let my memes be dreams, and we will head out into the dark, scary world. Look, we're here for zombies, first and foremost. We want to get that 1% carrot drop. I brought a strength potion for a reason. Easy. Oh, this is great. I don't know why I don't use potions more often. Carrot, please. Oh, there's a potato. Oh, wait, that's a baked potato. Oh, man. I don't think you can plant that. Who the heck dropped a baked potato anyway? Oh, is it because I killed the zombie and it turned into a baked potato, maybe? Because the fire aspect? Does it work with stuff like that? I thought that was just a meat thing. We'll try again tonight. All right, let's try this again. Oh, dang. Oh, I don't have any villagers, though, so I can't do a raid even if I wanted to do a raid. I could trap these guys in, though, right? I can't. I know I can. This is the man we want right here. If you want to come after me, buddy, follow me. This is good. We're attracting zombies too. Into the... Oh, no. No, no, no. Hey, hey, that's my man. Ha ha. Ha. There we go. Because I didn't need the dirt after all. Come on, lads. Carrots. Oh, no. He left. Oh man. So I guess what I should have done there is name tag him, but I'm super silly. That's too bad. Anyway, I want to see the progress we're making on our wall. Check that out. Coming along. Kind of see what we're doing here. We're just sort of bridging it along. I think we'll do this as the final sort of thing. Yeah, okay. This is actually looking really nice. I've done the usual sort of five and one, but now we go like this, but then that kind of cuts to here, which is a little awkward because this is that. You know, sometimes you just, you gotta make some exceptions to the rules. So I think what we'll do is this will be a short wall. Maybe that, maybe that's it right there. And maybe we actually just clear this. Yeah, we'll figure the rest of it out later, but that is the, the basis for the rest of our space. I think that's good, right? Like that, I think between that and that, that's gotta be enough. I don't even know if there's gonna be anything here, so. It's gotta be good. Actually, there is one thing I wanna do. Since I don't think we have access to grass, I wanna make it very puzzly. So, yeah. We'll start off with that. And then, I don't know, do we do this? I guess you'll do this one first. This is gonna be a lot of resulting wood. This side is all dirt and done. Actually, I think I'll start over here first. This is gonna be a lot of tree. Fortunately, I have a lot of bone block. All right, let's just, uh, let's just send it. Yeah. Woo! Yes, this is... So satisfying. Ooh, this is sick. Dang, it's like kind of weird because some of the, I don't like these tall, skinny ones. I like these guys or this. Oh, now we must chop. Okay, so that's gonna be some trees. But the, the trees I, I really wanted to get out of the way. See how much better this looks with Podzel? I actually did a little bit of whatever. Silk touch would be the word. So it's like, oh, I missed a little bit. But that's totally okay. Because then we just, boom. We just got our little magic fill-in tool. What's that, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser? So that'll be the framework of the walls done. We're coming along pretty nicely here. And that is gonna be it. I feel so safe. This is a very cool world. What's that? Trying to invade my walls. Good luck. Now in other news, we've got a pretty solid wheat harvest going on and melons coming along quite nicely as well. Now check that out. Next thing we're gonna do is start working on puzzling up this place. This one is gonna take a little bit longer. Now, while we wait for those, the whole plan is for this to be another floor. And I wanna start like, I think this, yeah, actually, 
that that should be cool. Right, so from the outside and <laughs> the the inside. It's a little boxy. We'll do something about this, right? This, oh, actually, kind of nice. Kind of easy too, huh? Okay, so what about this? I think that's good. I think I'm I think I'm content with that. Let's see if we back it up here. It's not perfect. I'll say that as soon as I look at it. Maybe it needs some height. Maybe it needs some color. But you know, the great thing about it is is we're only two thirds of the way through this video. So, you know, we, we, we got a lot of time. You know, from back here, it's not bad. I think it's really just like the whole place is just lacking color. And it's like, what can you do? You know, this is this is the ice spikes world. I do have a, a bit of an idea for an answer to that though. I've got this ice and it's like, as soon as I look at our building, it's like a no. That's just, it's gonna look stupid. All right, I think I have decided what comes next. This is something I had been wanting to make from the very start. I want to make like a crazy rail cart. To start, let's see what something like this can do. Yeah, okay, that was my worry. Well, the key with being efficient is you gotta know where to put your power. So start things off like that. Realizing this is a, a bit of a walkway for mobs to come up. It's fine, we'll just have to lock it off. All right, cool. So you can kind of see what I'm working at here. The idea is that it's gonna kind of like wind down the side of the mountain. Ow. Check that out though, that's kind of cool. Got it going right through the big ice spike. Anyway, this is gonna take us all the way down the mountain to here, which really is more of a, a, a an easy way to get up, I suppose, than down. Now we are definitely going to need more gold or more powered rails. But hey, you know, regardless, let's uh, let's take a peek. Here we go. That is working. Just need more. We're basically looking for a bunch of witches so we can get sugar and a zombie villager. I am hearing stuff. That's good. Not hearing a zombie villager. But I did just have another crazy idea. I'm gonna head over here. Put that there, and then that, and then we bone meal. This might not work with spruce. <gasps> oh, oh man, I'm gonna feel so smart if this works, and so. So defeated if it doesn't. Does it have to be a certain kind of flower? Because I can wait for the guy to come back. Perhaps flowering azalea. Okay, so apparently it's a 5% chance. So this might take a little bit. But gosh dang it, this place is gonna look good. Okay, so bad news, it turns out it's only for oak, birch, and mangrove trees. The only way we can get them is if another dude shows up, and it could be a while. So for now, we're just gonna have to hope for the best on this plan. This is probably gonna take a bit of time. Okay, so that actually didn't take too long. Hi, okay, so I've got my my name tags. You will be Dab on the Haters. And Dab on the Haters, you are going to stay alive for me. I got like a few arrows, yeah. I like, yeah, stop this. I just gotta figure out if there's any more creepers in here. Okay, I've seen a lot of zombies. This is actually pretty fine. Oh, see, like, that's one thing we haven't even been able to get is arrows. We don't even have, like, like a constant supply of arrows. I have to work for my arrows. Thread that needle. And I think that was the last creeper. Yes, okay. Here is villager number one. I'm gonna bring Dab on the haters up here. Come on, Dab on the haters. I know you wanna get in here. There you go. You're good, you're chilling. You're, you're named. Nothing, nothing could go wrong with you. Now we just gotta do that again. And we've got our second one. Okay, so that is everyone. Say hello to Davis Maximus. Not to be confused with Dab on the haters. I think this one will just, uh, we'll just patch this up. Oh, but I do still need sugar. I don't suppose there's a dude who spawned down there. There we go. We've got our two potential villagers and we're still just kind of in a tricky spot. So it's just kind of like, when will the next dude spawn? For now, I'm not sure what the play is. So I had the idea that maybe we should just turn this into a mob grinder, right? You see what we're going for here? So that'll be us finishing up right there. And we've got a creeper here to test it out. It's a little short. The height just makes the drop do more damage. I'm too close to this right now. So I suppose we could chill up here for a second. Oh, I hear a witch. That's big news. Yes. Okay, please, let's just make this easy. One try, give me sugar. You gave me a stick. Oh, do I hear another witch? Okay, what I need to do is get looting maybe. Oh, I hear it. All right, I just gotta go for this. Probably just gonna give us another stick. Oh man, two in one go. That is definitely gunpowder. That was gunpowder. We'll be back. We make our bookshelves. Oh my gosh, first try. All right, one of these sticks is from that witch. We're gonna use it to make a sword. And then we're gonna use the sword to get looting two. Looting two.
why why did that looting too all right and then we're just gonna go back up what a beautiful world i love ice spikes so much okay well it is working not really hearing any witches this time around so this might take a little bit, but you know what? We'll, we'll just we'll get to it. I find it crazy that we're just starting a mob grinder on day 77. Really thought I could get away with it. You know what? I figure while I'm up here, I'm gonna make it a uh, little cozy. There, that's nice. Okay, so there's another witch. We're hoping for the best here. Oh, let's go. We're not done on this insane, insane journey. This is not easy, right? Cause we can grab the three things. There's our fermented spider eye, right? And so we can do the potions of weakness, but we still don't have golden apples. So I guess we gotta get lucky in the nether. Oh, and a beautiful twist of fate. This has given us so much gunpowder for fireworks. Let's go find ourselves a bastion. Alrighty, we are off. Every time I get an elytra, I'm just, I'm so grateful for how efficient and easy it makes this. Ah, uh, well, I, it was anyway. Uh, woo! Oh, baby. Alrighty, there's our bastion. Here are the dudes. There is a chest. We have not what I'm looking for. We would find ourselves another right upgrade. That's cool. Snow and armor trim. That's cool. Maybe the big chest. No, that's cool. Alrighty. Well, the hunt for villagers continues. Wow. That is a crazy spot for a bastion remnant. They had to like carve out the space for it. Okay. So this one has four chests. We got to get lucky on one. Right? Snout armor, bad pick. One for four, two for four. They always say the left ones are the best, right? Okay, but hey, <laughs> you know what they say about the last one. They say, I kind of think gold apples don't spawn in these ones, but man, I don't know, that's, that's tough. There is one of those things in this one and it actually looks pretty safe down there. Alrighty, so we have Oh, that's tough. Is it the only chest here? I think it is the only chest. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, oh, we need, still need one, but that, that's, that's a good start. There could be more. I think this is the last chest. That's tough. Oh, mending pickaxe, that's, that's cool. Ultimately, that is tough. It's fine. We have a plan. So I think this is the type of zombie villager that even once turned won't be able to take a trade. So we're gonna have to go with this one. Alrighty, and there is our dude, Davis Maximus. The other villager just mysteriously disappeared. This is gonna be our guy. It's for the best if you stay in here, Davis Maximus. I'm gonna sell you all my wheat and then you're gonna give me apples oh you are gonna give me apples though look how easy that is yes now just imagine a world where our second zombie villager was ready to go you know wasn't a nitwit that'd be pretty chill wouldn't it can we also just acknowledge that we've made it 80 days without having to rely on a villager pretty sick now for the next step we have to wait for a zombie villager here okay so this will be the next uh decompression chamber it's not really the right word but we just like to have fun with it there's my gold there's my golden apple oh oh so you couldn't even get an apple in this world without a villager it's crazy all right so there's our guy question is how do we do the separating ah sorry oh my god i almost killed him hey you want to come over here maybe kill this guy and then we go boom excellent now the other part of this is getting this guy down. Okay, so I think all we want to do right now is just put the water right there. We should just flow on down together. Oh God, please don't die. Nice job. You're good. And welcome to the real world. You will take a trade. You look like someone who wants to take a trade. I can tell. No, 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 no. Come back. I need, I need to give you bread. Will someone please go for the bread? Now, the nice thing is, is they really can just wander because it's pretty safe up in here. Should probably cover this up for now. Hey, in that case, I guess we'll do another one. Hello there, little fella. So I spent the last day clearing out this area and I've brought out all the villagers and I think we're gonna do a trading hall here. So I'm gonna be taking inspiration, but not quite following a guide from disruptive builds. Right, so that is going to be the back. That'll be the rest of our frame. This is the next part. Also, that should go like that, I think. Yeah. All right, so the framework is coming along nicely. All right, so glass panes, looking good. Next up, we're filling these in. So 
like that. And the more I get into this, the more I realize that I am following the build exactly. That is all filled in. Next, we're gonna take our flowering azalea. We're gonna make bushes all around the sides. Oh yeah, okay, that adds a lot. Now we've got this little addition of stone and then the top is also gonna see a little bit of stone wall. Now we're adding stone wall up here. The top layer is starting to come along. Next, we're adding lanterns. And I believe we're doing this. Okay, so next we've started the frame for the roof. Now, I think this one is pretty simple. It's gonna be just a lot of stairs. Right, and that is the roof. Actually, that looks great. Wow, it's a fun build. Okay, so I think that is going to be the exterior done. We're gonna probably have two floors, but I'm, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Now, while we're doing that, I noticed that a few villagers actually fell for this little trap and they're just chilling down here. With this though, I had an idea. If we break all the beds and then move them all over here, they're gonna all fall in. We can lead a zombie over. Next, we'll make our apples. And I know I had a weakness potion here. That should be everybody. Cool, and that's all 11. Okay, I'm gonna make a little more space here for now. Sun is coming up. We're probably gonna have to use water. I. I'd rather not. You know, maybe if we do something like this. This way, there's just a little bit of space for the converted ones to run. And there we go. Now, with all that said and done, let's get these dudes back on up here. So we'll break these. For now, we will just bring the beds in. Right, so now we just have to get the villagers into there. All right, ready? So I've gone ahead. I've got everyone organized into their spots. The reason this is the only guy you can actually see is because no one else has a job yet. We've got crafting tables, chests, and then you can head up here and we have our second floor, which will eventually be full. So I think to start, we're just gonna give these guys jobs. I set it up to work pretty simply. So you simply add the job there, break that, and they're good. Also, oh my gosh, check that out. We finally have access to purchase arrows. That feels just absolutely too late. And then this guy also has really crazy deals. Wow, sick. Definitely want a butcher down here. He also buys raw rabbit. That's just so perfect. I actually feel like a fisherman could be useful just because we might be able to get some particularly rare stuff. And then we only have two spots, but we have three things. Probably not gonna be using the loom. So yeah, okay. Welcome to the team, everybody. Wait, empty map. Cool, look at that. Can I put that there? That is so neat. So that's our base, that's where, that's our little house. And then you kind of see the wall. See like bucket of cod, that's a good sale cause water, you know? Now the other thing I didn't put anyone up to was librarian. Usually we want a lot of librarians, so I wanna put them all up here. Now we're on Minecraft 1.20.1, which hasn't seen the upgrade that nerfs villagers. Still get really cool stuff and 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 for cheap in this case. I'm gonna leave that there for now. Some more dudes cooking up here. Wow, that ended up being a really great build. It's kind of putting this to shame. <laughs> I'm gonna take what we have left here. We'll get to work on on making this a little bit more, a little more fun. That actually looks really good. I, I, I think if we start adding some wood, it's gonna feel a little more cohesive with the rest of the area. So I'm gonna continue with this sort of concept. Actually, I really like that. Now, one thing while we're working on this is the back end of our base. Like everything looks so cool and then you've just got this what? Now, I think this is a pretty simple fix. A little bit of this. Maybe we just kind of kind of follow the follow the plan. Okay, so I think that is what we want. Put this wall of furnaces over here. All right, one sec. And boom. Look at how good that looks. Way too much space. I don't need this much space. I need like a crafting table in every corner of this space. It's so big. Now, the other thing is we've got this map here and that looks pretty cool, but I feel like this room could maybe use a little more. So for the first time in this video, ladies and gentlemen, I am in fact going to do the stick thing and we are going to buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight maps. Next, 
We're gonna take this map and we're gonna use it. Ah, uh, they fell in, but that's kind of perfect because they can kill the things that fall in too. Nice. We wanna walk off this map. Next, we do a new map. And see, now we're on this one. And we go this way and we get off this map. We write a new map. Now we wanna go in the opposite direction, do the same thing. We have to explore the unexplored. So there we go. Fly on home. That's middle. Okay, so then these, these are going below. There, I think that is it. I gotta go get more leather. We can definitely fill that, but huh. The gears are turning. Oh, I see, I see. Very cool. Wow, we're down here. We did make a super fun minecart roller coaster. Okay, so I think that should be three more. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, I didn't ever think the maps could be so fun, but look at that, that's our world. Honestly, I, I kind of want more. So like, what if we filled all of that? Okay, so now the complication is just filling everything in. Wow, this is like, cooler than anything we've done in this video. <laughs> no one else probably thinks it's that cool, but oh man. Okay, there we go. I like what we've got, but I'm, I'm making a decision. We're going hard with the map. So what I'm doing is I'm raising this up one level. We are adding that. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I just gotta fill in this bottom stretch. This is the moment of truth. I think, that, yeah, that looks good. And boom. Oh my gosh. Here, we'll, uh, we'll add some steps to this, make it a proper viewing platform. And there you go. Look at that. That is the world we live in. It turns out I like maps. Now, if we get an aerial shot of the world, I kind of think I want a balcony on the top floor. I think I want to go with something like this. That feels good to me. And with a few changes down here, that feels good as well. The other thing I think I want to do is spice this room up a little bit more. Ha <laughs> Donkey Kong. I mean, that's kind of sick. Uh, over here. Oh, that is a classic. That is a classic. And then maybe, nope. <laughs> No, what? Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that because on the outside, you still get that. But then on the inside, I don't know what that is, but it feels appropriate for ice spikes. Cool. Oh, this place feels good now. We can also make a not white bed. We can get blue dye and white dye to make light blue dye. Light blue wool. Let's go there. All right, guys, I feel pretty good about our base. It's large, but I feel good about our work floor. I gotta say, of all the things I've ever done in Minecraft, I'm very proud of this wall. I just think going along the ravine, it looks so cool. I don't know. We've just made such a sick base. Ice Spikes is just truly one of the coolest worlds to survive in. So I just want to thank everyone for watching. Also, don't forget to check out my new SMP server. That's play.niftymc.com. Available cross-platform on Java and Bedrock. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.